In this brief presentation, we're going to describe how OpenSpirit can help assist Spotfire users to be able to integrate Spotfire with the Esri ArcGIS desktop application. The OpenSpirit extension for Spotfire will allow the Spotfire user who also is using ArcMap or ArcGIS desktop to bidirectionally exchange selected features. You can be selecting features inside of ArcMap and send them to Spotfire or vice versa. And you can be selecting features that are stored in any format that ArcMap is capable of displaying. You also can send a, a geo-registered map image, a screenshot if you like, of the map that uh, the rendered map inside of ArcMap, and that will be sent to Spotfire as a geo-registered image to use as a background in a map chart. You also can synchronize viewing extents. You can zoom in an area of the world in ArcMap, and the Spotfire map chart will zoom into the same area of the world, or vice versa. You also can share selection or highlighting between ArcMap and Spotfire. You can select features in the ArcMap map and then have the corresponding features highlighted or, or marked inside of Spotfire. And the same is true in reverse. You can be marking features in or items in inside of uh, Spotfire and have corresponding items features in ArcMap highlighted. Any GIS feature that's imported to Spotfire via the OpenSpirit extension is converted to some consistent coordinate system. And you can choose amongst any of the standard EPSG projection or geographic coordinate systems. Then any of the GIS data that's imported into Spotfire can be embedded in a saved Spotfire DXP file and then published to web player. So this allows users to improve their productivity, it lowers the barrier for accessing diverse data, and can help you improve the quality of your analysis by leveraging the power of both ArcMap along with that of Spotfire. Here's a simple picture showing uh, the, the connections. So instead of having ArcGIS and Spotfire speak to one another, they actually are communicating with the OpenSpirit runtime, and they're broadcasting or receiving messages via OpenSpirit. So these two applications don't know about each other explicitly, but they're coordinated through the OpenSpirit runtime. This means that other applications can also be plugged into OpenSpirit runtime and can experience the same sort of collaboration. So let's demonstrate this. So let's exit out of PowerPoint, and I already have launched Spotfire on the right-hand side of my screen, and I brought up the OpenSpirit toolbar that's brought up from the Tools menu here. When you install the OpenSpirit extension, it adds this menu item. I've already launched the OpenSpirit uh, extension, and it's connected. It's green. And there's a similar toolbar over in ArcMap, the OpenSpirit toolbar, OpenSpirit extension for ArcMap. And it also is connected. So now we can start exchanging uh, messages or coordinate activities between these two applications. Let's first of all start off by selecting a variety, a variety of features. Um, I have a map here that's designed to illustrate some oil fields and associated features in Wyoming. So my green outlines represent uh, oil fields. The uh, lines I've selected here in blue represent pipelines. And I also have a refinery or gas separation plant here. So these could be any point, line, or polygon features. And I'm going to broadcast those by hitting the speaker button or the red dot. That's going to broadcast the points lines or polygons and all their selected feature and it's going to cause uh, a corresponding data table to be created over in Spotfire. And You see Spotfire has now created four new data tables and we've created a default map chart for each one of those. So here for example is the oil field uh, data table displayed in a map chart. It's been colored by the uh, name of the oil field and we can select any of the oil fields and we see the details on demand shows that it brought in all the different attributes that were in that original feature over here in ArcMap. And this data could have been coming from SDE, file geodatabase, shape files, AutoCAD, any spatial format that ArcGIS is capable of, of displaying. And all that information has gone into Spotfire. It also has done a coordinate conversion on it based upon what I said is my preferred coordinate system in Spotfire. When you connect with OpenSpirit, you get a chance of asserting your desired coordinate system. I can select that coordinate system from a coordinate system selector where I have a large number of map projection systems, several thousand of all map projections based upon an EPSG database or geographic coordinate systems. And you can also select from a map. So I can say I want to get a map projection system and bring up a map. I want to get something that's valid for, say, the central part of the United States. And it shows me all the coordinate systems that are valid for that part of the U.S. And I can pick any sort of coordinate system I want. 
and then of course I can also pick a desired datum shift and I can see all the parameters here so this satisfies the requirements of the geodetically aware user but uh, I can just go ahead and take the default which, want, which is what I had originally which is where I just got uh, WGS84 the standard uh, coordinate system used by most GPS systems so all this data was imported and converted automatically to WGS84 so that's how you can send data into Spotfire. You can do the same thing in reverse. If I select any of these features here inside of Spotfire, I can broadcast them. Let me clear them from uh, over here. I can broadcast from Spotfire. I click the uh, speaker icon there, and that causes new uh, layers to be created, an in-memory feature class with these oil fields, and you see them highlighted here. Those are sent from my uh, Spotfire. So anything that has a geometry in Spotfire can send features to ArcGIS. Well, notice that the map that we have in ArcMap has a lot more flexibility in how you symbolize multiple layers. So you may want to actually get the image, the rendered image of the map in ArcMap, sent over to Spotfire to use as a background image in a map chart. So that can be easily done as well. All you need to do is simply click on this icon that says Send Map Image, and that sends a different type of message which contains a reference to the, uh, the image, and that's brought in as a geo-registered image. So the corner points are known uh, locations, so now I can overlay point data on top of this, and it'll be correctly located relative to the image. That's an example of a, a geo-registered image. I also can coordinate what I'm seeing. If I zoom in, for example, let's zoom in to, uh, to uh, this area here in ArcMap, if I want to send that current view definition, I click on this icon with a little eyeball, it's going to send the extent of what I'm looking at. And we see we've zoomed inside of it over here inside of ArcMap. Um, I also could have zoomed in any of these uh, ArcMap charts. Any map chart that's active uh, is zoomed in. I can then zoom back out. And if I want to send now the view extent from ArcMap, I can do the same thing in reverse. I simply click the little icon with the eyeball here, and that causes me to see the same area over inside of ArcMap. So you can bi-directionally share both the GIS data itself, the view extent of your current map, and also that map image. And the, the last thing I want to show is the ability of sharing selections. Um, there are things you can do in the GIS world that you can't do in Spotfire. It's very easy, for example, to find all the oil fields within a certain distance of a pipeline or to find all the oil fields within a certain uh, uh, county. You can do those sorts of GIS, uh, geometric or topologic queries very easily inside of ArcMap. You can't do that in Spotfire. Conversely, there's things you can do in Spotfire. I can find all the largest oil fields and look for outliers in, uh, in looking at statistics inside of Spotfire. And that's easily done in Spotfire. I can't really do that in ArcMap. So it might be nice to be able to leverage the power of both. And that's what this um, uh, linking my feature selections will do for me. So let's, uh, let's go over to ArcMap and we can initiate that link request by clicking on that broken link icon. I have no link and it asks me what feature class do I want to link to. I want to link to my uh, oil fields layer here. I'll say OK. And that causes Spotfire to bring up a dialog that asks me what table do I want to link to. I want to link to the oil fields table. And it could have been to a totally dissimilar table. I could have had some other data tables in Spotfire totally unrelated to the JS features I sent over. And I get to pick which columns I want to use to match on. In this case, I'm going to choose the name of the oil field to be able to provide the link so now, having done that, my link icon is enabled in, Arc, in both Spotfire and ArcMap. So now, if I go over here in ArcMap and I go into Select Mode, if I select a feature here, you see the corresponding feature is, is highlighted there. I select a number of features, the corresponding features are selected in Spotfire. And the same thing is true in reverse. If I select these features in Spotfire, the corresponding features are, connect, are selected here. You can even select in other non-map charts. For example, uh, let's put in a, a detailed visualization on this map chart. Let's put in a bar chart where we're going to show the uh, oil in place on these fields. And again, it could be any sort of uh, feature. This is just an example from the oil and gas uh, space. So I'm going to, oops, I want to uh, remove that. I wanted to select the oil value and I want to plot that against the name of the oil field and let me uh, let me uh, change the properties here so that I 
sort bars by value and let's make this vertical labels. There we go. So now I have a chart here showing me the amount of oil in place in my different oil fields. And so if I select all my all my fields here, you'll see the ranking of all my fields. If I, for example, want to pick the top three fields here, I've selected them here and they're highlighted automatically over an arc map. If I want to pick the bottom three fields, it's showing me those fields highlighted over an arc map. So again, you can uh, you can select data in either application, and the other application will highlight uh, the linked uh, features. So I think you can see that this makes for a very rich set of interactions between ArcMap and Spotfire, allowing a user to share data and interaction events to perform a number of workflows that cannot be done by each application run individually.